everyone, I'm Lou and today we are going to make a character together. So this is the beginning of a series. Today I will draw my character and tell you her story. And in the next video I will cosplay her. So this is for the RPG I have the dream of Ouroboros. It's set in a fantasy universe in which dragons dream worlds, universes even, and uh, you can jump from one dream to the other, so one from one universe to the other, through portals that uh, look like a mist, but you can't come back. You jump and you don't know where you're going and you can't come back never again. So... There is magic, there is high dreamers that are, are magicians, but it's a very low magic setting. And uh, I think I want to play one, but I also want to play a troubadour. So I'll play a troubadour that uses magic to enhance her performances. So I think I've told you everything, let's go! Ambre tombe étoile never really knew who her parents were. She always lived in the castle of the Lord of villiers cutsac vassal of the King of Cartol. In her childhood, she was mainly brought up by the people of the castle, in particular the resident or visiting minstrel who taught this agile and mysterious child their tricks, stunts and songs. One summer day, when she was seven years old, the King of Cartol, the grieux, the pot bellied who had come to hunt on the game field land of Villiers Cutsac, was greatly amused by the cavorting of this white child with her hair as fine as silk. In the middle of a meal, while he was laughing at a particularly successful juggling trick, he asked the child, Why are you so pale, my child? Have you never seen the sun? She replied without thinking, And you, my lord, why are you so fat? The room held its breath, until the king turned red and burst out laughing, which filled the great hall like a thunderous roar. At the end of that summer, Ambre left her minstrel friends to join the king's court as his majesty's jester. There, she received an education far superior to her rank, especially in the art of letters and legends, for the king could not fall asleep without a song fable accompanied by harp. For several years, she lived day and night at the king's side, mocking the minister, the king, the court, and everything else. Well, almost everything else. There was a very strange character in the castle who appeared and disappeared without seeming to be accountable to anyone. Not even the king. He was said to be a high dreamer magician, and it terrified Amp to the core of her being for his blind, white eyes seem to probe far beyond appearance into your soul and deeper still. When he was in the castle, Ambre did everything to avoid him if she could, but when she was unlucky enough to be in his presence, the old man always had the habit of wishing her sweet dreams, even though the morning was just beginning. She didn't know why, but he made her blood run cold. When Ryu the pot bellied died of a long illness, Ambre was 11 years old. She was immediately sent away by the heir to the crown, Rhea's son, who had never appreciated the arts that the young girl mastered, preferring duels and war. Ambre then found herself alone in the capital, with no one else, having to look after herself for the first time. She wandered around all day and finally collapsed in an alleyway, exhausted with fatigue and grief when a shadow obscured the faint light streaming through the gaps of the closed shutters of the house. She looked up with tearful eyes and met the white gaze of the only man she had never laughed at. The match beckoned her to follow him, and Agard, she did so. She lived with him for three years, traveling a lot, stopping sometimes for a few months in certain cities or castles, listening to the old master's wisdom, and especially learning to dream. She mixed this new learning with her heart. One night, while they were sleeping in a clearing, Ambre woke up with a start, convinced that she had heard a noise in the bushes. 
She drew a red-hot piece of wood from the fire and held it ridiculously over her shoulder with both hands. She was walking toward the edge of the clearing when a small animal jumped out of the bushes, passed by her legs and disappeared on the other side, into the darkness. Curious as to, as to what this animal might be running from, she waited. Brandon raised. Time passed. The mist rose from the earth, slowly. She took a few steps forward, and all was mist. It was then that she realized, too late, that she could not turn back, and that she was alone, again. Here she is! I like her, but uh, her head is a bit too small. <laughs> Um, if you want to stay a bit in this universe, I'll uh, advise you to listen to The Butterfly by phone because I use the song to remind me of my characters and The Butterfly is uh, this character's song. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please uh, like if you, li if you liked it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. See you soon. Bye!